Welcome to Montana Matters. We're joined by Christine Webb. She is a safety consultant and trainer with Avitas Group. Avitas Group, of course, is a local company uh, founded in Billings in 1996, so celebrating 20 years in business. Avitas Group really helps other companies to simplify, strengthen, and grow by taking responsibility for administrative tasks. So we're talking about things like payroll, accounting, taxes, and uh, you know, complex HR rules and laws, things that are always changing, and that's what Christine is here to clear up for us today. We're talking about workplace injury and illness reporting and what businesses need to know. So, Christine, what are the biggest changes businesses will see to the workplace injury and illness reporting? Well, as of yesterday, August 10th, um, OSHA has um, said that they want us to record our injuries and illnesses on the 300 logs but then next year what they're going to do is ask you to submit those logs and there will be um, there is some guidelines to that and that would be um, any company that has more than 250 employees if the company has uh, 20 to 249 employees and they are in a designated high hazard industry, then they will also be able to, or they will also have to, report their injuries and illnesses to OSHA. Okay, so this is something that took place as of August 10th. So it is in effect now. And right so now. needs to start <laughs> happening. Okay. Um, and Avitas Group is really here to help educate employers. We all probably know uh, a business owner out there who could use a little bit of help and guidance when it comes to these complex HR laws. What are the goals of these changes? The goals that OSHA has set forth is is to help, um, number one, they're a small agency relatively, and they want to get to the companies that actually do have the safety issues and work with those companies as opposed to spending a lot of time with companies that are on board with safety, that are taking care of their employees. So it, it is kind of narrowing down the pot. Okay, so what should businesses do uh, to prepare or really just to get going because it's already in place? Well, I mean, in maintaining your injury and illness records if um, you're required to by law, uh, maintaining them, making sure you're not over-reporting, not under-reporting, and if you have questions, definitely give us a call. We'll be more than happy to help you guys with that information. Okay, very good. And Christine, uh, a wonderful expert here at Avitas Group, and she also used to work for OSHA, so she's seen all kinds of reporting. She is really a wealth of knowledge. She is able to travel out to the work sites and, and work with employers one-on-one -on, -one on these on these issues. Um, so how can Avitas Group help businesses navigate these changes? Avitas Group does have, a, like I said, a very good uh, staff for safety. Um, very diverse. We are trained, highly trained, and we can work with any client or anyone that comes and asks for help. Okay, so wonderful service at Avitas Group. Uh, we'd invite anyone to visit their website at avitasgroup.com. Give them a phone call, 800-454-2446. And we want to thank Christine so much for joining us today. Thank you. Yes, we should also mention that Avitas Group has a great Facebook and LinkedIn page. So social media, you can find a lot of best practices guides uh, that really help simplify that complex HR law. Thanks for joining us.